Muskrat Falls was a, a sacred place on a river uh, before it was ever a project name for uh, a hydro dam. It's a place that has been traveled for, uh, for generations as long as feet have been able to, to walk uh, and canoes have been able to paddle. And so for me, Muskrat Falls is a place of ceremony. The project is a little over 80% complete and our concerns have still not been addressed and those concerns include methylmercury contamination into our food web but also into an entire ecosystem and, and animals that depend on it as well as us humans. All of us who live downstream from this project and who are aware of the risks to our foods, to our way of life, to our, our very health and safety, with if, if the North Spur fails, like we all live in trauma now. So with Muskrat Falls, for me, when they told me I couldn't go to the North Spur anymore and perform ceremony like I had done for years, they took away my right to go to my church. And I can't imagine anybody walking into a church and telling an entire congregation, you all need to get out of here now. We're gonna tear this down. We're gonna dig it all up. We're gonna stick our own project here and you can never come back to this place again. I can't imagine that our government would ever allow that to happen. But they do it to indigenous people every day. They take away our right to our spiritual sacred places. They do it every day. And at some point, as a world, we have to get away from this drive for money and get back to a place of spirit. <laughs>